just in. Two Fox from the southern border and a group of Republican women running for public office from all across the country are there to see the migrant crisis with their own eyes. Their visit happening at the same time the White House is claiming that migrants are not just walking into this country. This is an open border that needs to be shut down. And, the, and it is often framed that this open border is somehow more humanitarian, that you somehow care about people more if you have the open border. We have learned today that nothing is further from the truth. That was former State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortega. She organized this border trip for the candidates, and she joins us now from McAllen, Texas. Morgan, we'll get into the uh, the why of your visit with the candidates down there. But first of all, we just want to highlight that yesterday, our Peter Ducey had to go around with Corinne Jean Pierre on on the the double standard that the administration seems to have in people entering the United States. This is going to take a moment, but it's worth watching. Listen here. How come migrants are allowed to come into this country unvaccinated? but world-class tennis players are not. Somebody walks into Texas or Arizona unvaccinated, they're allowed to stay. But, Why? But that's not how it works. Yeah. Like, we that's actually, no. Well, I know that that's not what you guys want to happen, but that is what, what has happened. But that's not, it's not like somebody walks over and <laughs> that's not, that's, that's not how. That's exactly what's happening. We, well, Thousands of people are walking in a day. Some of them turn themselves over. Some of them are caught. Tens of thousands a week are not. That is what is happening. So, Corinne Jean Pierre insists that people are not walking across the border. Morgan, that would seem to be sort of along the lines of saying, well, the sky is not blue. Yeah. Yeah. And in fact, we actually observed people doing that just today. Uh, an hour or so ago, about half a dozen uh, migrants, you know, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give the press secretary a little bit of credit. They actually had to use a ladder, but in the wall, not that far behind me on a lower part, they were taking ladders and they were trying to, they were scaling the fence. Um, we've been seeing, we've had people out here all day. We've had a Fox cameraman out here all day, uh, literally watching people walk across the border. So um, the press secretary is more than welcome to come join me and the other candidates and she can see it for herself. Morgan, it's obviously Republican women that are down there visiting the border, seeing firsthand what is happening. Yeah. Why do you fathom that we're not seeing more Democrats? Where is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? Well, I think they're ashamed and they're embarrassed of what's happening at this border. You know, we're here at the Rio Grande and we heard stories um, of the bodies that are piled up. They're fishing bodies out of the Rio Grande uh, every single day. You're talking about children uh, that are that are also, I mean, as young as three years old, uh, just recently being fished out of the Rio Grande. What we're really seeing here, this is why I have organized so many Republican uh, women candidates coming here, is you are seeing a war on Latina women from the Biden administration due to their open border policies. These women think that they're uh, going through smugglers and cartels for a better life, but they're being raped often multiple times. Uh, they're being human trafficked. Some of them die uh, and are sold for body parts. We learned about something called a rape tree today. Uh, that is a tree with women's undergarments where the rapists put it there to brag about what they're doing. This is heavy and horrific stuff, but it is a war on Latina women from the Biden administration, and Republican women are here at the border to shine a light on it and put a stop to it. So how, how big an issue do you expect that this is going to be in, in the midterm elections? I mean, it's pr predominantly a local issue there in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California, though it has mo more recently become a national issue because of people being set across the country because of the fentanyl problem, because of people being bused to Washington yeah. and New York City, and we're hearing from the mayors of those uh, two cities. But one of the women that you've got with you is Myra Flores, who managed to do the incredible yeah. feat, uh, complete the incredible feat of overturning a district that had been held by the Democrats for about a century. So how do you think this is going to play out? Well, I think it's the number one national security issue. Uh, I've spent my career in foreign policy and in national security in the intelligence community. Uh, what we're seeing is a dramatic uptick in apprehensions of people that are on the FBI terror watch list. This is just the people that we catch. We are seeing the number one killer of young people in our country, 
fentanyl deaths happening because the fentanyl comes from China and the cartels uh, smuggle it over over the border. By the way, they're set to some estimates show that they're going to make 13 billion dollars. That's 13 with a B uh, this year. And so whenever you have the number one killer of, of young people in this country as a direct result from what's happening at this border um, and whenever you see uh, just the plight of, of the women and the migrants and the human rights atrocities, the worst human rights atrocities in the Western Hemisphere are probably what's happening on our southern border and in Venezuela right now. A uh, huge story, and you continue to cover it, and you continue to show up. Morgan, you wear a baseball cap well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my friend. <laughs> thanks not, so not, much. Not to mention plaid. All right, thanks, Margaret. We'll thanks. talk again right. soon. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.